In pictures taken by Bristow's Animal Control, you can clearly see this dog's spine and that it's covered in ticks. A neighbor reported the dog was living in a shed. Well, the dog had no food, no water. It looked like it had been in a cage its whole life. That's unacceptable. Bristol Police Chief Kendra Rainey says when they went to check it out, the dog's teeth were nearly at gum level from chewing on wood and insulation. It's, it's sickening. It's sickening for us to have to see that. It's sickening for the dogs to have to go through that. And what it's, it really hurts my heart when people go out and get animals and they can't even take care of themselves. I think it has a lot to do with like the inflation. Um, a lot of families can't afford to feed themselves, um, so they're having a hard time feeding their animals. Animal Control Officer Abby Nashke says she's limited in what she can do if an owner is meeting basic needs. But if a dog is in bad shape like the one in these pictures, then she calls for backup and gets police involved. Ruth Steinberger, the founder and executive director of Spay First, says Oklahoma has specific laws to protect animals. Oklahoma has some of the most enforceable and therefore the best animal cruelty laws that there are. And there's a number of them that we got years before other states enacted them. And one of them is that in Oklahoma, if for just cause, an animal can be seized and a person has the right to a hearing Bristow is planning to build a new shelter since the current one isn't big enough and it's in a location the public can't access. Mayor Chris Wyatt tells me until they can do that, she fears more dogs will be dumped. Ultimately, it's very unfair. It leaves the dog totally defenseless, totally confused as to should I wait here? Is my owner coming back? And it, it, and it really puts an unfair burden on, on, on the Bristow taxpayers to have to send funding in the direction of people who use this as a dumping site for their unwanted pets. While an animal shelter won't stop animal cruelty, Mayor Wyatt says it will help decrease the number of strays. They're just waiting on funding to get things up and running. In Bristow, covering news that matters, I'm Paris Rain, Fox 23 News.